Hi and welcome to my channel. I'm Matt Montgomery. As you all know, if you're new to this channel, please click the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Or don't, that's fine. Um, <laughs> welcome to my new video and my new series. This is going to be my conspiracy theory series. And I'm actually going to keep it up because my manager is going to stay on me <laughs> to keep it up. And um, today I'm going to doing a conspiracy theory, the first one in my conspiracy theory series, which is a tribute to my old channel, Conspiracy Queen, which I'm still into these conspiracy theory side of the internet, and so yeah, today I'm doing a conspiracy theory that my manager gave me, this Arctic, gave me a idea for, and this is on, is the government giving us medicine that is making us sicker? All right, let's get so let's get started. Let's click this one to are the psychiatric trick medicine making us sick sicker. Let's click on it. This is a w w dot chronicle uh, focus dot com. Okay. Are psychiatric medicines making us sicker? All right. So, I'm going to pause the video and then talk about it after I do my research. All right. Okay, so this is um, about five minutes later, and I found this website above the secret dot com and this is on the theory itself and I'm finding it pretty interesting it says um they're spending money to make us sick because they want to keep us sick so we keep spending money on the government and I've looked at about three other websites but this one has the most information and as saying some of the other things that the other sites are saying, I just wanted to make this a bit clear because I've been to four other websites, three or four other websites in five minutes looking through it, scanning through, so you know that I'm actually doing my research. So I just got done researching, and it's about five, ten minutes later roughly, and... Oh my goodness, I found a load of crap on the government trying to keep us sick. Oh, I gotta take a sip of this root beer, like, seriously, like, Queens, um, I think we've uncovered some, I've uncovered something that I haven't heard of before. It actually explains a lot. Um, so as I said in the beginning of the video, it's on the government keeping us sick with the medications they give us while we're sick or for our um medical problems <laughs> or our psychiatric needs. And I found a load of crap on psychiatric, a load of crap on keeping us sick like with cancer. It feels like chemo is making people sicker. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'm losing it right now. So, um, see, as you can see, I still have that stuff opened. Um, I just scrolled back to the top. I searched mul a multitude of different things, and I added on to that stuff I searched every single time. To make it more in depth of a search. Crazy shit I found. I'm actually freaking out and I feel like my heart is going to explode. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what I found was that since chemo is a toxin, once it kills off the cancer virus, it will make you sick afterwards. But what if it makes you get over cancer for only a short period of time and then the cancer comes back it's just holding the cancer off um that will be a video for another time but i'm gonna have to make more than one tonight because i am freaking out right now um 
I'm gonna probably go on a long haul of making conspiracy theory videos tonight because I haven't done them in so long. It's kind of like a breath of fresh air because I haven't been in the community for a while other than watching Shane Dawson's new series. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna sleep probably tonight. Um, it's 9-11 p.m. Um, <laughs> um, my dogs are all down here. Hey, Charlie. Um, so let's dig in. All right, so what I found on the government making us sicker is that I've taken psychiatric medicine before. It's hard for me to say that on camera, but I have. Um, so it actually makes sense that it's actually making us more crazy because not at first though. I took Adderall when I was younger. Yes. For my attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. And, um, I used to be, I used to have attention deficit disorder, not hyperactivity when I took the medication Adderall, when I got home, when it wore off, I would be flying through the roof. Unlike before I started taking Adderall, I was calmer. And that might shock some of you, but I started taking Adderall in the first grade, and then I started being crazier. Only my closest, closest friends would know that, but... um. It just makes sense that it made it worse. Um, then I have depression. I used to have very low-level depression. But after the recent events, it's gotten worse. And after taking Zoloft, it got worse. My anxiety and depression, it got worse. And it makes sense that medication is making you more insane. More crazy and worse in a way. Um, so... I'm off of both of those medications now, and I'm doing a lot better, but when I was sick, when I was little, I used to get sick all the time, all the time, no matter what I did. Every week, we would end up in the hospital with me on a breathing thing and stuff like that. I started taking inhalers at a very young age because of my asthma, my asthma, basically. And so when I took these inhalers, I would feel worse after a while after taking them. And I was like, and then we would end up in the hospital later on that night. And this happened at least once or twice a week when I was younger. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it, it, it makes me feel like they were trying to make me sicker. But after stopping taking them for a while... And getting my tonsils removed, which no doctor ever wanted me to do, I felt a lot better and I haven't been in the hospital for breathing problems since. Crazy, right? Ugh. Other than my pneumonia I had. Um, other than pneumonia I got. And my asthma, which is very low-key now since I stopped taking some stuff for it and stopped taking the inhaler and got my tonsils removed after I got my tonsils removed I was able to stop my shots and stuff um what I found is the government is funding medicational medicinal companies and pharmaceutical companies to put different probiotics and stuff in it that could actually make you sick crazy right who would think that you would want to do that they would want to do that but our economy and stuff like that it's always about the money with the government and the pharmaceutical companies all the companies all they want is mo money all they want to do is probably come i'm gonna stop talking now so if you want to find out more about this theory look it up there's tons of websites. I just went through like seven or eight and I found all this stuff. And then my personal experience. Oh my gosh, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Great. So I'll see you later on tonight, I guess, after 
I researched another conspiracy theory. And see ya.